Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be continuing Distraint 2. In the last episode, we... Oh crap, it's been a while. Uh, we got to a new location after making... using the elephant toy to move something. I don't know. I'll remember once we start playing. Um... It's been- it's been a few weeks. Oh my gosh. I feel like it's always just really loud when I start. Um... We- I remember moving these two... bars. But I can't remember how. <laughs> Maybe I should have rewatched the video. Man. Um... We're somewhere. We can hide here. I'm gonna have to rewalk through all these doors. And I am not sorry because I've got my computer working and getting videos back up because it's been a little while. Oh, what, what, what? <laughs> okay, well, that helps, I guess. Um, the red gaze. W were we not already in here though? Were we not already in here? Is that a mushroom? A rock. Nope. Whoops. Oh, I can... Uh... Oh, it's an elephant. Ah ha ha ha. Ah ha. There we go. No. There we go. Yeah. Why do you even try? Oh, I should have my glasses on for this, man. I'll get in. I'll go in a bit. You deserve nothing. You won't last the night. Give up. It's the red eye. It's gonna come get me. It's gonna get me. It's gonna get me. Um, okay. So let's leave. I'm assuming. So did that unlock the other door? Part? Part of the door? Yeah, okay. Cool. <gasps> he's coming, he's coming. I... Oh, okay. Uh, is there a hiding spot here? Oh, there is. Okay. I thought we had to go in the other room. I am in there, right? Nope! Oh, stay in there, stay in there. Oh my gosh, she looks different. Alright, um, we good? We good to go? And that's a waterfall of blood. Alright, are we going in here? Is that what was unlocked? Yes, it was. It was that one. Cool. I, I'm starting to remember. I don't remember how I got there specifically, but... Um... <laughs> Miss Goodwin? No, I'm forgiveness. Miss Goodwin is the form you gave me. I thought we already went through this, but... I'm sorry about everything. She never blamed you for anything. I know, but I do. I do! I'm forgiveness. I could have sworn we went through this. Let me help you. How? Please hear me out. I mean, please hear me out. There's a reason why I can't forgive myself. Yourself. You can't. It's all connected. Your past, your parents, how their business was taken away from them. Everything in life molds you. Yeah, I did the same to Miss Goodwin. I took away her home. You put so much time and energy into regretting that decision. Just why? Regret is all you seem to do. I can't just let it go. I don't think I ever can stop blaming myself. It's like something is stopping me. Maybe there is something more. Maybe you need to find that something. And then in the throes of your journey, maybe you'll be ready to forgive yourself. I'm not reason, but I advise you to carry on. You're not 
you're bound to find what you're looking for. Have faith and you will restore yourself. I like that she's got the, mu the bunny. Hello, Mr. Guy with Eyeballs. <laughs> Would you tell me what happened after your parents' passing? They placed me in an orphanage, where I then grew up. It was okay, I suppose. I made good friends with a boy called Charlie. Ah! See, we did go through this. Although I have never seen him- I haven't seen him in ages. Tell me more about it. Well, we were very close. But then- Did I not save? I probably didn't save. Then we reached adulthood. I moved uh, to pursue a career from McDade, Bruton, and more. I do regret not- I do regret not keeping in touch with Charlie. I regret it all. It sounds like you're too harsh on yourself. Maybe you shouldn't dwell on the past. But now, hear me out of the Such tragedy is bound to leave a mark. Nah, it's fine, Doc. Doc. I try to not think about it easier that way. Tell me, how did you make that make you feel? I felt sad about it. it away. I got over it surprisingly fast. We all act. We all react differently to such loss. But could it be possible you never really process the passing? Tell me, did you ever take time to yourself just to mourn? No, not really. But like I said, it's okay. I didn't need to. I'm surprised. I believe you could be suffering from trauma. It sounds like you're still in denial. Instead of processing your loss, you shut it away. Maybe in the silence, it's trauma molding your every decision. I don't believe that in, the case, in this case, Doc. I mean, I do appreciate your help. Well, that sounds like, ah, our time seems to be up. Please don't shy away from my words. Give it some thought and who knows what you may find. Yeah, okay, so so then we got we got to this part, right? Yeah. No. Huh? Hold on. Okay, I'm a little confused. I think there must have been a video it's, it's been a while, but I, there must have been a video that I recorded that it got messed up and then I missed so you're missing some. I think that might be it. But if so, it would have only been that one section of like going in rooms and trying to figure out puzzles. So it's not like you miss much. Um, but I I feel like, well, anyways, I, like I said, I feel like we we did this before. But if I didn't save, um, and it went back a little bit, but it happened to be when I made the video and it got messed up because my freaking <laughs> computer. Uh, I must be close now. So, sorry about that, but I, I I didn't realize that's what happened. I want to see this through to make sense of it of all this delusion part two. Let's save because apparently we didn't do that last time. Okay, I definitely didn't see this part. Or did I? No, I didn't. Do you really want to do this? What is that? Alright. Uh, you'll never vanquish me. You'll never vanquish me. <laughs> Ooh. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Oh, oh, sorry. Boo! <laughs> ah, perfect. It's you again. Hmm? How rude! I'm here to help you out of this shame. Shite. Uh-huh. You heard right. And how would you do that? Do not underestimate me. There is but one condition. You shall never abandon me. And that's it. If you would like to sign the agreement... Uh, no. No, I will not sign. Uh, I shouldn't. Don't be an idiot. I'm offering a way out from all, from this trouble. What's there even to think about? I suppose you have a point there. Just that. Enough. Sign. No, don't sign. I kill you. Oh my gosh. Yeah, wait for this guy. Hold on. Don't sign. Oh, he walks so slow. Enough! Ah, Not you again. Silence! 
Don't sign it. Just think. The journey. Agony. Loss. Forgiveness. Love. You are healing. Here he is. Reason and his poetic wisdom. <laughs> Listen to me. You do not need him. Not anymore. But he's offering a way out. Not a way in which you want to go. Trust me this that last time. He was so scared. Oh, what? I'm free at last. What? What's happening? Oh my gosh, it's so cold! <laughs> what is with this? You chose. You chose freedom. You chose happiness. You chose hell, uh, healing. Thank you. Welcome. Ambition. <laughs> Ambition. Oh, it's so cold. Oh my gosh. There's a fine line between greed and me. Oh! You made the right choice. But without reason, I would have. I would have signed. Don't forget that we're all connected. You will need ambition once you're out. Out. Was that a little smile on your face? <laughs> you can keep your spirits high. There's some, still something locked away deep inside. You will need your, you will need your all to conquer it. Stay strong. You're almost there. this music though I mean I must be close now that's great honey. keep going bro. are you okay don't worry about us son your dad is right you need to focus listen this time we were sent by loss huh? you won't want to hear it but you simply must okay what does he have to say Loss brings a painful memory. A memory you've locked away. Uh, I'm so sorry, honey. <laughs> Never mind. But you have to face it. You're strong. You will overcome this. I love you both. But I have to. What do I have to do? Close your eyes and focus. Think of us. I'll think of his parents. <laughs> but but boring <laughs> all my toys are in the new home already and I'm hungry the end of childhood oh no this is when this is when they died isn't it <laughs> oh my god ah. but but boring examine <laughs> There's no food in the oven. Also, don't we have a fridge? Dad said they'll bring some pizza. I want pizza now! Uh, there's nothing there anymore. All the stuff is here in the kitchen. The new home is so much smaller. Oh well. Okay, here in the kitchen. They're bringing pizza? I don't know how to tell the time yet, but shouldn't mom and dad be back already? I'm going to eat at least 10 pizzas. Dad says I eat more than a horse. So they got in a car crash? Okay. 
Okay. Now what? Am I? Oh. Okay. Hello, it's a police officer, isn't it? Mm okay. Hello. <laughs> My parents have said I shouldn't open doors to strangers. I'll just be quiet. Oh. Hey kid, don't be scared. My name is John. I'm from the police. Would you open the door, please? Yes. Hey. What's your name, kiddo? I... Uh, something happened. I'm terribly sorry. But he's already crying, but... There was a car accident. Where's mom and dad? I'm very sorry. They're both in a better place now. It's not a very good way to say it to a kid. They're in a better place, and you're not. So... Hey, don't worry. You might not want to hear it, but it's going to be okay. Someone will take good care of you. Oh, and before I forget, I was able to retrieve this from the car. I believe this belongs to you. Oh, the elephant? What is this? Mr. Snouty? Mr. Snouty? But wasn't it in the tent? <sighs> oh my gosh! Oh! I was not ready for that. So that's why it's an elephant? Oh. Why is it an elephant if Mr. Snouty is my friend? My favorite? What is with that elephant? Well, at least I'm able to kind of outrun it. The heck is you? The source of it all. Hello. What is this? What are you? Why? Is it gonna be like? That's the sound of something. Reason? What the hell is this thing? It's the source of everything in you. Please, stop. Speak plainly so I can understand. You must finally face it. The dark place inside you that's holding you prisoner. Insecurity. Unworthiness. The source of it all. And here you are, ready to do so. I don't. Listen to me now. For I am the reason. Tell me. What is that thing? It's... Look closer. It's a wheel that I used to play with as a kid. It is... Trauma? Yes. The source of all things in you. But now, after all these years, you have the chance to overcome it. I... can't. It's too powerful. And what's even the point? You're on the brink of restoring yourself. But how could I ever overcome my loss? By accepting and dealing with me. But with my job, how can I go on with my job? You found me, and together we'll rise. I feel empty. How can I become motivated again? Challenge my creation. What do I do? What do I have left to fight for? Oh, oh love. I am somewhere out there. Find me. But what if things go sour again? I'll be there to comfort you. 
How can I live with this misery? I exist for a reason, except me. How can I live with my fears? My only aim is to keep you out of harm's way. Okay? How can I ever forgive myself? Through me. Okay, okay. <laughs> you see now? You're almost there, but you're missing something. Think. Friendship. The letter. The letter Charlie gave me. That has to be it. I knew you'd get it this far. You've always been determined. But at the same time, your insecurity negated your determination, leaving you exposed. I've been trying to reach you. Oh, I talk about yourself, waiting for the right moment. You're standing on the precipice, ready to take that leap of faith. Please, let me help you. Courage. Alright, let's face trauma, of course. Courage. I have all I need. Yeah, get out of here! Get! Get! No one likes you! Get out of here! Get out of here! Rip. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Those are his parents! I thought it was like, rest in peace to trauma. But it's his parents. He's gotta do his morning. Good morning! Hey, mom and dad. I understand it now. I shouldn't have suppressed my agony. I didn't face my loss. I made some horrible choices in my life. I never understood why. But I do now. I think I'm ready to restore hope. I've been searching high and low, but I can't seem to find what I'm looking for. And yet, all of this must hold a purpose. I've been led here for, by reason. If you are there, please, somehow, help me. Help me! <laughs> Son. Mom. Dad? It is time. What do you mean? I don't understand. Your light. Let it shine from within. Welcome back. For you've been missed. Hope. What? We're all connected. We are now complete. I, uh, can you see it now? We're a thought. We're his last hope. A journey in the blink of an eye. Please, hurry. No one else can stop him but you. Oh! It all depends on you. What do I need to do? You know what to do. Make him not kill himself? <laughs> is that what this is? Oh, I have to move. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. roll. Drum roll. Hey, 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 hey. Don't, don't kill yourself. Don't do it. I'm here. There's so much to see. Don't do it. He's dead anyway. What did he shoot? I couldn't do it. But he pulled the trigger! Where did- Something... Something changed. It's smoking! What did he shoot? Ah, oh, shite. Someone must have heard the shotgun. Hey! Is everything alright? Huh, that voice sounds familiar. It's the kid! Everything is okay. I'm coming in just to make sure, okay? Okay. <laughs> it's love! Oh my gosh. 
She's very bright and colorful and scary. <laughs> oh my, what did you? I, I was going to, but something, hey, calm down, please. It's okay. My name is Jim. I just moved here a couple days ago. Uh, my name's Casey. That's his name? <laughs> nice to meet you, Casey. Uh, you too, Jen. And thanks for checking on me. I'm sorry, I'm such a mess. Don't worry about it. Do you want to talk about it? Uh, there's a good cafe nearby. What is with her lips, though? That is if you like coffee. I love coffee. Alright then, let's go. The shotgun's just sitting there. Um, wouldn't you, like, call the police? Just be like, hey, someone's just trying to kill themselves? Yeah, I know that's a horrible thing for the person who did it, but, you know, like, we, you shouldn't be responsible for being in charge of them. But that's just me. Thank you so much for playing. It's me too. It was a crazy amount of work to create this little game. Here's hoping you like it. Oh, please consider dropping a view wherever you got the game from. I'd appreciate that. I'd like to thank my family and friends for their support. Also, thanks to all the people that have been active on social media, encouraging me to keep go keep me going. I can really appreciate their effort. You can find me on my games, Jesse McConan. Jess, Jess McConan. English edited and proofread by Jen Hewitt. Okay. Find me on Steam at Kiki Wasoda. Kiki Wasoda. I don't know. That was uh, that was awesome. That was a good game. It's got some good messages in there. Um, yeah, I like that. I'm so happy that there was a second game because I, like as I mentioned when I first started playing the game, is I was replaying to straight one, uh, just trying to get all the achievements, and um, I was just like, this is a, this is a good game. This is a really good game, and I was contemplating replaying it on my channel. Like, from, uh, cause I played it before, when I was 13, and it's been five, six, seven, eight, six years? Six years? 19 now? Um, <laughs> I think I was 13. Yeah. Um, but I was like, nah, nah. And then I saw this straight too. And that's great. So, I'm really happy I got to play this. And I'm really happy you watched. Thank you for watching. Um... Yeah, and I'm looking forward to doing some new uh, games, other games, at some point soon. So thank you, and I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!